Hi, it's Jill with Quick Flicks again. Um, today is Sunday and I am continuing on with the scrapbook pages, trying to get baby Nolan's um, book done. And I'm just about there. The layout I'm gonna be doing today is, um, I got these packets, oh, probably a year or two ago at Michael's, they had a huge sale and they had these pre-packaged with all the colors that kind of coordinated. You can see here which ones they are. Made by Recollections. There's 24 sheets included. I think they were like on sale for maybe $3 a packet. I bought quite a few of them in all sorts of different seasons and baby themes and whatnot. I don't use them that often because as I mentioned in yesterday's video, um, they're thin papers and I'm not real crazy about that. However, I like these colors and I need to use them and once I get all my layouts done and all my pieces on it, they seem to get thicker, so it's all good. Um, I picked the green and white gingham, check for the background, the stripe for my, my center here. And what I did is this center piece here, the stripe is five inches wide. Then I cut a light blue piece of open stock, um, Recollections cardstock, in six inches and put the two together. Um, this is just to make the center of my page. And I'm going to, I got the pieces laid side by side here just so that when I do my, um, when I attach these pieces, I want to make sure they line up again so that when my page is open in my book, they match. And what's nice about using the ginghams and things is you can follow the stripe along the bottom. The first page is going to have, this is from the word collage, the word collage from the Cricut Craft Room, um, or Cricut cartridge, and I did it on my Cricut Craft Room. Actually, I didn't, I did this quite a while ago and I just, again, it's one of my stash that I have done. Um, bib, onesies, baby cry, just a bunch of um, baby words on there. And I'm going to add that to the first page. Um, I did my photo mats with the light blue from this background on my stripe. I did my photo mats on that and I already have this pre-laid out so pretty simple when you already have the page figured out how you're going to do it. And I'm going to put that one right there. And then what I did is I went on and did a Google search of teddy bears and last night I was up pretty late making teddy bears on my um, silhouette and I am this whole layout is going to be a bunch of, of different teddy bears this one's kind of a little fuzzy bear all I did was a print and cut and then I put a background um, on it again it gives it the thickness of a die cut I like that and I did a yellow one those are going to go on this page and you know what I'm going to pop dot these now, pop dots everywhere Um, I was really having fun last night. I, I probably, when I was taping, I said I needed to call it a night and get to bed, and I think it was about 10.30. I ended up staying up until 1.30 because um, I was having so much fun making toy or doing the Google search and doing kid baby toys and, and um, dolls and babies, and they have some really, really neat clip arts that are free um, on Google. And I was doing that last night. I actually ran out of ink on my printer and I ran out of paper. I'd ordered my paper stash from HSN the other day. Um, normally I order three packages of 100 and I've been going through, through it so quickly. I ordered four packs and it was on sale the other day. So I thought I had enough to get me through the weekend and I didn't. So I just sent my husband to Michael's to get me a couple 12 by 12 packs of white it. Um, to get me through today. It's pretty pathetic. I can't even get through the, a, a day. My paper should be here tomorrow, but um, the things I want to make, I want to make today, not tomorrow. So, I, he's on his merry way. I try to use my other printer. I have a brother that prints eight and a half by 11s, 
and on my new Mac, I cannot figure out how to set it um, with my registration marks. My registration marks keep registering and at, at like a 12 by 12, even though I've got it changed to a 8.5 by 11, and I'm not patient enough to try and figure it out now because I want to be doing something more fun. So I decided not to dink around and make my husband go buy me more paper. That way I don't have to dink around with it. I do need to figure it out, but I have one printer that I use to print out my invoices and just anything that's letter sized. And then I have my other printer set up as my default that's 12, and 12 by 12. I know it seems um, a little bit excessive, but I use my printers a lot. Um, I have a little journal. Um, card here that, that was from my paper stack that I used the other day of the die cuts with the view. Anyway, um, just for, for journaling there, my husband's here calling me and I better answer that. Hello? Yes. Yes. All right. All right. Love you. Bye. Sorry about that, but my husband always lectures me for not answering the telephone when he calls me when I send him on errands. So I do apologize, but since he's running an errand for me, I figured I'd better answer. He'll come home empty-handed, and then I'm not going to be a happy camper. Um, I did the bears in green and ye um, yellow and blue. Blue on this one. This is the fuzzy bear, a brown one. They're all different. These three are the same style. And I put this down before I put down the one I wanted here. That's what I get for not paying attention and trying to answer the phone. That's supposed to go over here. And then the little bear, it's for you baby, is going next to him. You know, I love doing scrapbooking. Um, I find little infants a little bit more challenging than older children because older children there's typically a theme behind the photos and I love when I have a theme to go with and in this particular case the theme I have is sleeping and once in a while uh, eyes are open once in a while maybe a smile but that's about it so to try and not be repetitious here um, I wonder if I should, I'm going to make him flat, the little brown guy. This guy is so cute. All of these are cut about four and a half inches. He is really cute. These are all really cute. But for those of you out there that have the Silhouette Cameo, um, if you haven't ventured out, you know, I know that you can buy um, the patterns that are all ready to go, and which is all nice, like the little um, animals I did yesterday. They're adorable. And... Um, but boy, if you really practice and use to learn how to use your silhouette, you, you just would be amazed at what you can do with that thing. And there we go. That was sweet and simple. Got all my little bear collections, my little journal tag here. It's for you, baby. And just a little saying over here. I'm going to bring you over here and show you. There we go. And then here's the other. These little bears are so cute. Again, all I did was a teddy bear Google search. And pretty simple. These are, again, print and cut, and then I cut out the black background on them, and that was pretty much it. Anyway, have a nice day, and stay tuned for the next one. I'm not done yet. Bye-bye.